go from being very green to be very gritty. The New York Times isn't going to write about what a wonderful place Portland is when we have a thousand coal cars a day coming through our town, through our state. And what's happening in Vancouver is even more deplorable. 28 coal trains a day full in open cars. It will be just disgusting. And President Obama could stop this. He has the pen. He could do it. This issue has been so hush-hush, um, it's really only come to light to most people um, in April, and we've been doing canvassing, and a lot of people don't even know about it. A lot of people who are waiting in line to go to the luncheon don't know about the coal transport. The governor did a really good thing. He said, not only do we need to find out what the effects are at each site, the six sites that were the ports, but he also said we must find out what it happens through the whole system and we also have to have a national policy of this effects. I mean it's no accident we're having this horrible weather in the um, east and in the midwest of record high temperatures, record storms, uh, cold contributes to global warming. But I also don't want to live in a neighborhood that has eight coal trains coming down. I'm an organic gardener. I have 25 raised beds. I would not be able to live in my house that I thought I was going to live in till the day I died. I would have to move.